All right, so we're back with Swarm Persona 3, and we should hopefully be fighting the Reaper today. Hopefully. I just, you know, we made all our preps last episode. Everybody's in at least halfway decent condition. We got two ultimate weapons now. Surely this is enough. Otherwise, we're going to have to farm levels or something, and then, oh boy. We're still gonna try and do some uh, giant shadow boss fights, depending on if we're able to beat the Reaper or not quickly. Uh, maybe we'll even farm the Reaper, you know? Maybe we're just gonna get good. All right. Maybe, just maybe. So originally I was thinking of taking Junpei, but considering Akahiko has his ultimate weapon, he's probably better off. Uh, you're gonna see that <laughs> the controller battery is low. Yeah, I tried charging it. Yeah, no, apparently, uh, the last time when it had gotten dropped, uh, it pretty much like screwed up the charging thing. So it basically has to be plugged in at all points in time now in order to uh, not die. So that's pretty cool. And uh, even if it wiggles a little bit, it's going to trigger that screen. So I'm going to try and not have that happen. But realistically, I'm not sure how well that's going to work. But yeah, we're bringing Vishnu naturally. 94 strength, 84 magic, 96 luck. I mean... The man's up there. The only thing I'm really concerned about is the fact that I'm weak to Dargans to kill, which is not ideal. Although I'm not entirely convinced the Reaper will play off that fact too, too much. I have a feeling he'll go more for, for, uh, Mind Charge Mega Dolan than anything. Although if we do get to trick him in the mob mood on more often, that could potentially work for us. Everybody should have their best ultimate weapons on. I believe we did that last video. <sighs> man, it hurts. Oh, man, really? I gotta take the Sansa suit off of its ear? I don't have to. We could bring her in with less defense. Even her maid outfit actually has more defense than her Sansa outfit. Okay, well. But uh, for the sake, since it's the first time we're killing it, we gotta make sure we're going all in here. It's as it is um right do we even just take the chance I, all right so we're gonna we're gonna try and run this without the 30 percent extra hp rings and see if we're able to live with that because if we are then we can uh do more damage and whatnot but if we're not able to like maybe my charge make it and just hits too hard then uh we'll go ahead and slap those on and hopefully that'll be enough of a difference and if it isn't then i guess we're just gonna have to farm even harder which is you know everybody's dream i'm sure all regular shadows by this point should mostly be afraid of us i mean that's even a bigger guy and he's still afraid of us all right so we just need the chill for some time it works like five where if we just still chill in the same area, eventually he'll like come after us to try and run us away from Tartarus. So we're just chilling, waiting for him. We can check out our ultimate weapons here. You can see Akihiko's got some like, skulls on his hand. Um, and Sura's fencing sword is more whippish than anything, which makes sense considering the, uh, the name of her weapon. And then Yukari's got like a sunbow, which apparently strengthens our wind attacks, so that's pretty cool. It's not her ultimate weapon. Uh, I have no idea what the persona is that has it. It's probably an ultimate persona that I don't have. Because it's not like we have all of the social links maxed out. So I don't have access to absolutely everybody's. But I was able to get Mitsuru's and Akihiko's. I'm kind of surprised I got Mitsuru's, especially with her social link being as low as what it was. I mean, we fused Scotty, which was, what, like 70 plus levels, so I'm kind of surprised I actually even had access to Scotty in that regard due to our social link being so low, but I'll take it. And then Akihiko being a dude, we're not going to have the social link with him, so it makes sense in that regard. So we are just waiting on the Reaper here. This is always the most fun part of the Reaper, just, you know, waiting for him to spawn. Hey, you know what? I would still rather take this method than activating the Persona 4 Reaper. Not that we didn't activate it unintentionally at the very end of the game and then wrecked him for 
but uh, intentionally trying to do it at the time that we did the Reaper fight video for Persona 4. You don't want to know how long I prepped for that fight. You don't want to know. Well, I guess it was still less than uh, Margaret's. <laughs> Margaret's. Oh boy. Margaret's, I basically farmed the Reaper until I couldn't farm him anymore. Like, the Reaper was begging for Percy by the time I was ready to fight Margaret. Alright, come on now. I just, I'm standing still here. Just anytime you're feeling. What, the Reaper scared now? Pulled out the ultimate weapons, and he's like, <laughs> Alright, I'm not messing with these guys either. Usually, Fuka says something to us about this by this point. Maybe it's because I'm still in the first ish area. Uh, how about this? Probably run more into the Still nerds in the way. Not that I really care too much that he's right here. It's just I more don't. I don't want to deal with him first, and then. Although, maybe I need to have one fight for the Reaper to. Feel like he needs to come. There's one enemy. This is fine. Me and Mitsuru should be able to deal with this. Honestly, it's fine. We have healing items even. I don't even need, need to use SP to heal that up. You're unworthy of Mitsuru's hit weapon hit for more than mine did. I guess hers is an ultimate. She gets plus 10 to all stats and all that stuff. Uh, I mean, we got infinite healing items that we haven't used, so. Alright, there's your bait, Reaper. Oh no, I'm so weakened. Oh man, if only the Reaper wasn't gonna show up right now and uh, just absolutely kill me. No, don't do it. No, please. Except, of course, now we move, so now it probably reset the timer, in which case, if the timer was building up at that point it probably wore off in which case we gotta wait for it again i do have a second controller i probably should just switch i have a feeling that death is near all right he fell for the bait baby let's go except now we're easy Puka, where is he all right miss navigator if you would please it should just be the regular shadow that's afraid of us behind us. I highly doubt he's going to end up spawning behind us. I just don't really see it happening. Usually she starts spamming it. I have a feeling that death is near. There we go. Maybe I need to walk around a little bit more. Try and, you know, find him ourselves. Oh, Mr. Reaper. Where are you? Ah, okay. Well, hopefully this doesn't mess that up. Must you? Ah, yeah. I'm willing to drop somas or whatever to beat the Reaper. It's fine. I don't think I'll need to drop a soma for it. But I'm not gonna have these guys mess up our fight with the Reaper. I'm hoping I really shouldn't have to use all my SP, but there's always that possibility. Did get a pearl out of that. Can't be too mad at that. I doubt that would reset the Reaper coming, though. Surely he's still roaming around here somewhere. Why was that guy so ballsy then compared to the other shadows? The other ones are just freaking out. Be careful. I sense death. Where is this man? Whose man is this? There we go. Let's do it. No, you can't defeat it. Run! Absolutely not. I would never. Alright. Oh. Ow. Yeah, that hurts a little bit. Ooh, you got me. Why would you... It, that doesn't make any sense. That skill gets a bonus off of knocking people down. So why would you not go after the person that you just knocked down with a skill that does bonus damage against people that just got knocked down. Akihiko did live though. It did 450 though, but he was also weak to it. So if I lower his attack even more, we should actually live. Back that still did that much damage though. 
He only attacks one time uh, per turn in this game. Unlike the other ones where he attacks like two times per turn, it's like, all right, come in. All right, we got double mind charge going. The other two are gonna be playing support for us. Mind charge, maybe Dolan. Let's see. It. Two fifty. You know, that's a, that's really not as good as I was hoping it would be. All right, he's throwing right now. You love to see it. Oh, we didn't have his defense down either. Yeah, that probably would have been helpful. <laughs> He's not spamming Mind Charge me goal, and it's probably because I don't have shields on me right now. Which I probably could throw on me, although that will probably uh, trigger him enough to want to go for Mind Charge Maggie Dolan. So uh, maybe this will actually be better for us, especially if he's only getting one attack per turn. And the only one who has a weakness at the moment is Akihiko and Yukari. So he has to pick on those two, which ideally he doesn't pick on Yukari, considering her base HP is more or less non-existent. Nah, it looks like he just wants to go for Akihiko. Okay, that's a choice. I'm kind of surprised he's only using single target insta-kill attacks. I thought for sure he'd be using the, uh, you know, the full-on AoE insta-kill attacks. Maybe they're making life a little easier for me. I should probably heal. I was like, maybe I could get away with it. And it was like, why, why throw it down? Yeah, all right. We got the mind charges going, his defense is down, time to hit him for the maiden door. Let's see. With defense down, 326. It's not bad. Oh, I was actually gonna get hit by that. That doesn't surprise me though, because I'm weak to it, so. Of course, that's like the one element I'm actually weak to with Vishnu and he would go for. It. Uh, you're down on everything, are you not? Uh, I can just have you heal yourself, which gives Yukari time to do damage. And, uh, she has a decent magic stat. Plus her bow gives her extra wind damage, plus... Uh, I believe her item still gives her extra wind damage as well, so this should hurt for quite a bit. 138 for not being mind charged is not bad. Not as much as I would have hoped it would have been, but considering no mind charge. And she doesn't have her ultimate weapon, so there is also that. And your attacks back up, I hate that for me. Alright, well, Yukari actually managed to live, though. A crit for 1k. Well, there goes uh, Yukari's once more. Honestly, this is feeling a lot better compared to the normal Reaper that generally spams me with Mind Charge Maggie Dolan. So, like, I feel like this maybe saying her nerf version of the Reaper is maybe the wrong thing to say because this man is absurdly tanky, even still, considering how much damage we're outputting here. But I don't feel the same, uh, I don't feel the same terror that I normally do when he's spamming Mind Charge Maggie Dolan against me. Uh, his defense just reverted. Definitely want that back down. Probably should have done his damage first, but so far, survivability, I'm not too concerned about. Which is probably a crazy thing to say, and maybe he'll make me regret those words later. But for the time being, I feel like we're doing alright here. I'm already mind charged. His defense just got dropped. This could hurt. 232. I would hope for. <laughs> I would hope for a little more with the mind charge, but who knows what level he is. Maybe we're actually under level to be fighting him. He's missing a lot of his insta kill attacks, which I'm all for right now. How do you like the insta, insta kill increase chance? It does seem to be working for you now, doesn't it? Evasion rate down, make sure we keep landing those attacks. If he keeps throwing out insta kill attacks that aren't landing, like we are, you know, we are loving life right now. Oh, 
the real issue because if he drops like Yukari or something, we're but I'll have uh, full HP revive. Although we bought plenty of revival bread. And more so becomes an issue if he continues to keep dropping her. Hey, that evasion down actually worked. Yukari managed to drop. Yukari managed to actually not get dropped by it. She actually dodged it. Let's go. Now we throw his attack back down. And, uh, well, Yukari's being uh, a little bit of a... Uh, more of an attacker than I was thinking I was going to ever be right now. And I'm okay with it. Akihiko is doing exactly what I expected him to be doing, which is debuffing the crap out of the Reaper. So, uh, you know, mission accomplished in that regard. My SP is going down so fast. You fire break broke Miss Okay, well, she has nullification because of the item. So that just returned her to being neutral. Like, I'm not... I'm really not scared of that. I think this is the last turn where I have all the debuffs on him. Which still gives me time to heal Mitsuru right here. And go ahead and just keep wailing on the Reaper here. I don't know if we'll be dropping any Soma so far this fight, but we might end up using a precious egg or two just to get our SP back up. Of course, if we can avoid that, then we can always go hit up the clock, even though it might be better for us to actually just use the precious eggs or whatnot. But we got money, so it's not like it's too bad. Life drain? Oh, that's... That is a heavily buffed life drain. What do you mean you drained me for 200? Bruh. What a... I'm not really too spooked by that. I mean, if that is, like, set damage. It probably is just like a 50% HP drain or something. I want Yukari to do damage, but I also don't want him to get any cheeky kills, so we'll go ahead and just throw an AoE heal. I wonder if that's actually going to trigger his AI to go after more AoE attacks and be like, oh, you just killed everybody the full time to drop them down again or something along those lines. He might just be going for max damage, does the thing. But then he does stuff like fire break and whatnot, which is not necessarily troll, because at least it means he can do fire damage to Mitsuru, but it's kind of troll considering uh, the current setup we have going on here. That's gonna hurt. Okay. Yeah, I mean, he's throwing break skills out here, and like, I just. It's very much who cares energy, like. Okay, now you can do neutral damage to me. Ooh, got him. Like, you know, it's, I'm really not spooked by this man so far. What is going on here? You know, I thought he'd be a little more spooked. I think the Mind Charge Maggie Dolan version of him was a lot spookier. Of course, that was also in 4 and 5, so, uh, you know, I guess maybe that was um, buffing him. Or maybe it's it's probably more so just because I don't have, like, uh, physical and magic shield on me for him to be like, Oh, I can't do damage anyways. Guess it's time to drop, you know, mind charge me Dolan sort of thing. <laughs> That's, I did not want to see that. Hey, well, he managed to finally get one emunculus. Honestly, it would have been a little more sad for him anyways had he not been able to. How is Akihiko so low on SP? Like, I know debuffs cost a little bit of SP, but it really can't be cost that much. Like, I think we're actually going to be able to get through this fight without any items at this rate. At least if it keeps going as well as it did. He did throw quite a bit, like, let... Evasion down, by the way. That was also my mind charge shot. Yeah. Feels bad. Um, I don't like using HP. Really, he can only hit me with what? Fire, ice, and uh, dark insta kill. So, like, I, we crit him? He might, he might go berserk, though, because of this, but he's got some good damage, right? 218? Not bad. Yeah, feeling him re after that display. That was pretty pathetic damage on his end, though. Not that Myriad Arrows is the strongest skill you'll ever see. Can I 
damage. I he still has all his debuffs on him though. Uh, I don't want to heal because it's for so little HP, but it's enough to the point where if he lands a weakness shot, he might be able to down somebody as a result of it. At least at full HP, that shouldn't be the case unless he doubles, which uh, at that point is just unlucky for me. I think we're kind of fine, honestly, to actually keep going physical attacks into it. 88 damage, I mean, we're not using the strongest physical attack ever. I should actually probably be using God Hand over the Arts, although if the Arts hits twice, it probably does more. Uh, your defense is back up, time to drop that again. Originally, I was thinking I was going to need Junbei to get my defense up, which uh, probably could have worked, but I think Pakihiko actually is ending up being better for this fight. Although, I guess that's a little unfair to say, considering we haven't tried Junpei in this fight yet. But I think just more access to debuffs, thanks to Akihiko, is probably better overall. But who knows, maybe Junpei learns power charge and we can finish this fight that much quicker. This dude's got so much HP. Alright, let's, let's drop the John's hand on him, shall we? 123? Yeah, I think the, the arts is still better if I double. If it doubles, we're good. Oh, you ice broke me. Oh no, you can do neutral damage to me now. I'm so screwed. Alright, anyways. I'm like, I should just go all in on him, but we'll go ahead and play this strategically out until the end, just to make sure he doesn't pull anything cheeky right at the end. Though I don't necessarily expect him to at this rate. We don't have mines. What are the chances this kills? His defense is down. I mean, if it doesn't kill, surely next attack. Drop the next god hand, go for the arts. I think the arts is still better. If I get the double, I also have more chances to crit. Hey, we got him. Reaper down, baby. Let's go. Fuka's like, oh, run away, run away. 10,000 XP? Uh, yeah, apparently I need to farm the Reaper. Apparently the Reaper is the way. I mean, two fights of the Reaper versus a million of the regular shadows. Uh, yeah. We're not gonna have a victory screech or nothing like that for beating the Reaper? Bruh, are you serious? Alright, well, Fuga, it's time to go. Well, okay then. The clock is not cheaper today, so this is gonna hurt. Yeah, 625k, that hurts a little bit. Uh, Elizabeth, I did that quest that you wanted. I see you obtained a bloody bunt, so you defeated the Reaper, have you? Most impressive. You're approaching the level of strength I hope you'd achieve. I've waited so very long in this room where time has no meaning. You may be the one to help me answer the question that has confounded me. Please accept your reward. Five million yen. Beautiful. Is there another quest? Any, anything after that by chance? Any, anything after that? A a anything after? No? It might be like after I leave Tartarus or something might open up as a result. I or maybe after, like, I have the kind of like you have to leave the room and enter it sort of thing. Or maybe, or maybe just being the Reaper was like, uh huh. To someone? Bruh. The door that appeared in the lobby. I'd like to see the katana attained from there. The more moss. Okay. The door that appeared in the lobby. Are we talking about the one that, like, Margaret's in? Are we concerned in the lot? Beat the ultimate opponent. Far below, beyond the door by the entrance to Tartarus, lies the ultimate adversary. Please fight this opponent alone. That sounds like a terrible deal for me. Uh, fight him alone, you say this. <laughs> that's, not, that's not good. Uh, who's the another to heaven's door? <laughs> okay. Um. Is 
do we stop the video there and just call it a reaper video i guess we go ahead and do that and we'll uh we'll continue on in the next one that seems fine we can make the reaper its own dedicated video and we'll move on from here so yeah that's the reaper fight um honestly a lot easier than what i remembered uh, at least in 4 and 5, he would just mind charge me, he duel and spam me, and like, it was just absolutely devastating, as one might imagine, because, you know, mind charge Maggie Dolan on a, a secret boss, it, you know, it tends to hurt just a little bit, but uh, he kind of, he got kind of shrecked, although, to be fair, I think we did get really lucky a lot with a lot of his insta-kills not landing, like, if those were... If, like, even half of the insta-kills that he did landed, I think we would have been in a much more interesting spot. I don't think we would have been lost, but I certainly think we would have uh, had a lot more issues than we did with that fight. Uh, that being said, I appreciate you guys for watching, and we will see you guys in the next video. And uh, maybe even check out what what's behind Heaven's Door. Uh, the fact that they're giving me the Omnipotent Orb as a reward and difficulty stars is maxed out makes me think that i'm i'm in for a bad time but uh maybe we'll take a look at it and just see how difficult this could actually end up being appreciate you guys for watching and we will see you guys in the next see ya.